before that, I think people really need to be grounded and stay present in the moment. Okay, now I get it. What, what kind of environment uh, would you advise someone who hasn't read your book um, that a new agent should be building uh, if it's not surrounding themselves with a mentor, but what kind of environment should they be uh, maybe uh, building for themselves to get themselves geared up for, you know, what's to come next, maybe that hundred K a year, like whatever that mark is for themselves. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you have any insights on that for someone who's listening? Just what kind of environment they should be surrounding themselves with. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, you know, regarding the brokerage, I just think that it's one supportive and one that has consistent training um, that you're definitely going to partake in, right? You could be, we can have training forever, but unless you're, you're, you're partaking in it, it doesn't really matter or it's not really going to help you. Um, the other thing is, uh, for me, it was having this visualization and I'm huge on looking at you know, vision boards. Vision boards yeah. I am huge. I, I do it with my kids now That's that so we important. do a vision board. I mean, my daughter is a softball player and wants to go to Florida State. Now, most, most North or East softball players, you know, stay in the Northeast just because of the, the um, you know, the climate that we're in. But she wants to go to Florida State and play softball. I'm like, then we have to have Florida state all over your room. And that's ultimately what we're going to do. Like we're, we're painted with gators, you know, <laughs> you know, and blue and orange and, and it's everywhere. So that's pretty huge. So vision boards and having the visualization of what you want. Um, but before that, I think people really need to be grounded and stay mm-hmm. present in the moment. And for me, that was having a greater relationship and, an, and I'll use the word intimate relationship with God. And that was revisiting the church and really getting to know God and myself again, because I came from a dark, ugly place um, where things were not, you know, as bright and uplifting as they are now. And it was a really somber kind of moment in my life that I really had to buckle up and put my bootstraps on and yeah. pull up my big girl panties and really get grounded with God again and revisit my relationship with him.